Tigers Den is ready to roar again tomorrow. The Memphis Tigers football team kicking off its season with high expectations. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katino Rankin. Fans young and old are gearing up for a team with legitimate conference championship hopes. Local 24's Brad Broders, he's live from Tiger Lane at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium, where he saw the new stadium upgrades firsthand. Brad. I certainly did, Richard and Katina. The biggest highlight inside this new stadium is the sparkling new locker room, the new digs, sparkling new digs, symbolic for a Memphis team looking to again shine on the field, build on the program's winning momentum, and settle some unfinished business. In today's world of sports, if you don't provide nice facilities, you're not going to have the athletes to go win. Mission accomplished for the City of Memphis and Tigers football program, which this afternoon unveiled this new locker room, the centerpiece of $2.5 million in Liberty Bowl Stadium upgrades. The sports scene in Memphis has momentum, in large part because of this great football program at the University of Memphis. The brand new locker room digs the latest proof of a program on the rise. Memphis football is aiming for its fifth straight winning season, an unprecedented string of success. The last 10 years, it was, you know, people wouldn't even show up to the games. And now it's like the whole city is behind the football team now. Memphis Athletic Director Tom Bowen recently set a goal of 45,000 fans per game this season, which would break the average attendance record set in 2015. The momentum's there. This is a, one of the finest football teams in the country, and we're getting ready to kick off tomorrow at 6 p.m. And if you haven't bought your ticket, come join us. U of M students and alumni alike are also caught up in the wave of Tiger football mania. Everybody is so hyped, especially carrying over from last year. UCF is playing at home. Our home opener is tomorrow. Everybody's just really excited. The more support that the team has, we're able to recruit better. Everything is better when the team is being supported by the city. Now, the Tiger tied their all-time mark with 10 wins last season, but the season still ended on a little bit of a sour note with a heartbreaking double overtime loss in the conference championship game against Central Florida and then a one-point loss in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl right here in this building behind me. Reporting live in Midtown Memphis, Brand Broders, Local 24 News.